Falcon 9 is configured for flight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Lift off. Now we've had successful liftoff of the Falcon 9 vehicle as it carries SHAIL-2, uh, communication satellite to geostationary transfer orbit. Now we've cleared the towers and we are ascending. The next major milestone as we come up is Max-Q, that maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle will experience as it goes through the thicker parts of the atmosphere. As we get higher, the density of the atmosphere decreases and there's less and less load on the vehicle. You should hear the call out for that soon. vehicle has passed through maximum aerodynamic pressure. And we've had max Q, so again, decreasing pressure on the vehicle as we continue to ascend through the thinner parts of the upper atmosphere. Now we're coming up on a sequence here where a few show. events will happen in very short succession. Those events are MECO, stage separation, and then SES-1. Those stand for MECO, main engine cutoff stage separation, and then SES, which is second engine start number one, the first of the two planned burns today. And those are, Miko is when we shut off the nine Merlin engines of the first stage, and then once we've shut those down, we separate the two stages, and then once the stages are separated, the second stage engine, the Merlin vacuum engine, is exposed to space and it will begin burning. That will happen over the span of about 10 seconds, starting about 20 seconds or so from now. Again, main engine cutoff, stage separation, second engine start. Go ahead, stage separation. Stage separation confirmed. <laughs> and back ignition. And we have had second engine start as the orange glow appears to brighten up the Merlin vacuum engine in the center of your screen. Again, transitioning the responsibilities from the first stage to the second stage. We'll follow both of those vehicles in parallel as we continue this webcast. But for now, the next major milestone is on the second stage, and that is when we deploy the fairings that encapsulate the payload. So s 2 is protected from the aerodynamics of ascent by that fairing. Once we're out in space, the air is not thick. We do not need it anymore, so we drop it to reduce our total mass. That fairing deployment will occur about 10 seconds from now. Fairing separation confirmed. A few seconds away now. It's interesting to note, as you can see on the left side, we are actually engines facing the incoming air. So we're going engine first, and that's why the burn does slow us down. As the vehicle burns its engines, that will push us back up. And because we're going engine first, that will slow us down and decelerate the vehicle. Those quick puffs you're seeing Stage are cold gas FPS thrusters escape. that are there to make minor attitude or position corrections on the vehicle. Stage one entry startup. And that footage is being sent down from onboard cameras in space. So you can see through the choppiness there that the entry burn has started. Remember, 20 second burn in total for the re-entry. Stage one entry burn shutdown. 
And the entry burn has concluded, as you can see. Landing bird startup. And there was Seiko. You caught it at the very end there. Don't know exactly what's happening with the landing, but we'll report back for that as soon as we have Get information. But you saw that blip there stage at the one end where deployed. Seiko won, second engine cutoff number one did occur, where the second stage stopped firing. We're going to check some data and tune in on first DNC stage here in a second. Orbital insertion. All right, landing shut down. And there it is. The first stage has landed on the drone ship Of Course I Still Love You in the Atlantic Ocean for another recovery and a potential third refurbished flight of this same booster. So with good success of that secondary mission, we'll transition back to the primary mission here, which is the delivery of S-Hail-2 to geostationary transfer orbit.